Well, Liz Truss, of course, in as Prime Minister, and I highlighted uh, in my newsletter this morning, Heva News. Go to heva.news to get that in your inbox. You know, some early signs that the, you know, the Brexiteer cabinet, some of the choices that were rumoured she has made, uh, and some of those are really big calls that I know have a lot of support from many of you. But one of the key early tests is going to be, of course, on the Northern Ireland Protocol. And there were rumours that Truss could trigger Article 16 within days of becoming Prime Minister. Now, it doesn't look like, in fact, that is going to happen. And Truss really, you know, to win back Brexiteer support, I keep saying it, it's going to be about action, not words. And in terms of my channel and my outlook and my commentary on this, you know, I'm not someone who's going to only praise Truss and I'm not someone who's only going to bash Truss. I'm going to be down the middle and call it as I see it. And what we have seen is the appointment of Chris Heaton Harris, former ERG chairman, as the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. Bruce Group describing that as very welcome news. Now, he has talked today about a landing zone for a deal with the EU on the protocol through negotiations. But if not, he said the UK will fix the issues through legislation. Now, of course, the EU have completely refused to renegotiate the protocol, hence unilateral action finally being taken in the form of the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill and sensible changes uh, being made to the protocol via that bill. Now, Liz Truss was actually asked about this specifically today in PMQs, and this is what she had to say. The standard practice of the European Union that when they can't get their way in negotiations with the UK, they play for time and wait for a new leader who they hope will have a different view to their predecessor. For the sake, for the sake of clarity, would my right honourable friend confirm that it is the UK's preferred option to have a, a negotiated settlement as far as the Northern Ireland Protocol is concerned? But if that is not forthcoming, then we will proceed with the protocol bill that is currently going through Parliament. Well, well, first of all, can I thank my right honourable friend for his service as Northern Ireland Secretary. He is absolutely right. We need to resolve the issue of the Northern Ireland Protocol. My preference is for a negotiated solution, but it does have to deliver all of the things we set out in the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill. And what we cannot allow is for this situation to drift, because my number one priority is protecting the supremacy of the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. Now, that response has actually gone down quite well uh, with the DUP. For instance, you've got Nigel Dodds there saying, very significant and welcome statement from the new PM. Any negotiations with the EU must deliver the things in the Protocol Bill. But I repeat the point, you know, we've seen negotiations and talks and discussions and meetings with Brussels over this for a long time now that's produced absolutely no results, hence the UK having to go ahead with unilateral action. And it's going to be a big test, this, as to whether this is going to be a more government talk and endless meetings, or are we actually going to see a Liz Truss take decisive action? She did talk about there not allowing this uh, to drift, so I would suggest that is a good early sign. But let me know what you make of what Truss had to say there. As I said, do sign up to my newsletter. Go and check out heva.news. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.